Assalamu alaikum, peeps. What it do? Shalom, brothers and sisters. My people. What's good with it? Now, you know me. I'll be all over the place. So, like, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. Man, I just try to be everywhere, man. So, man, this past week, man, our sister, uh, Tamika uh, Mallory, Man, she's been going through a lot, man. She organizes this this woman's march and, and 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 everything is getting all overshadowed by her relationship with the minister. And nobody talking about the crowd, the march for the women. They just they worry about her relationship with Farrakhan. Same way when when, when Barack was trying to become president. I don't know who dude was. He kept on asking him, are you going to condemn Farrakhan? Are you going to condemn Farrakhan? Look how they treat this sister right here, man. This is why I do not like mainstream media. It's because of this bullshit right here, man. Just because I, I don't like what you like or whatnot. See, don't, don't, don't nobody, boy, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody talk about the other, uh, other end of the spectrum. How the other side be feeling, you know what I'm saying? On some fuck shit. These motherfuckers on some real fuck shit. And you just watch how they do my sister, man. She's been going through a lot and she's been holding it down because she's been talking to God in person himself. Shit, y'all better raise up off her, man. <laughs> she is protected. And y'all just some fucking haters. But man, peep out the shit, man, they've been doing to my sister. There's been some controversy surrounding the, the, the Women's March organization, and, and Tamika, you came under some fire for your relationship with uh, Louis Farrakhan uh, and the Nation of Islam. Now, he's known for being anti-Semitic, for uh, being homophobic, but you, you do... What the fuck is anti-Semitic? What the fuck is anti-Semitic? What the fuck is homophobic? I'm not scared of no faggot. I'm not scared of no gay person. I don't want my son to be gay. That don't mean I'm at. Boy. <laughs> boy, y'all motherfuckers, boy. Y'all some motherfuckers. I'm not homophobic. I'm not scared of gay people. I don't want to be gay. I don't want my son to be gay. And if I want to teach my people that, that does not mean I'm a homophobic. I like normal life. Y'all hoes just grinding. and ain't getting shit. Man, y'all piss me off with that old politically correct bullshit. Get on my goddamn nerves that motherfucking shit. Attend his events, and you posted, I believe, a, a photo together calling him the GOAT, which means the greatest of all time. Damn right! Now, you are running an organization that says it fights bigot bigotry. Do you understand why your association with him is quite problematic? No, I think it's important to put the my attendance, my presence at Savior's Day, which is the highest holy day for the nation of Islam, in proper context. Okay. You know, at and, 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 you know, see, you see how the media be trying to put words. See, the other sister didn't even do her research, as you can tell. And then going to try to, you know, put the spotlight on Tamika. And Tamika correct You know what I'm saying, man? That's just some bullshit, man. I hate y'all mainstream motherfuckers because y'all fake. Fake as fuck. As a leader, as a black leader in a country that is still dealing with some very serious unresolved issues Damn as right. it relates to the black experience in this country, um, I go into a lot of difficult spaces. I wrote a piece immediately following uh, the beginning of this controversy uh, talking about wherever my people are, that's where I must also be. So I also go into prisons where there are people who have been convicted of heinous acts. And
and I am trying to help people to move from wherever they are today and build that unity to bring them to a place where we live in a more fair and equitable society. And I think that that work is not easy for everyone to understand, but it's certainly work that I'm committed to. And everywhere that I go is difficult. The Women's March was very difficult. I met with a lot of women who did not even understand why race was important to be a part of the conversation. Damn, right. I mean... You know, offensive uh, rhetoric that I heard, and you know, and just because you go into a space with someone does not mean that you agree with everything that they say. But let me push back a little bit. Why call him the greatest of all time? I didn't call him the greatest of all time. Cause he is the greatest of all time. What do you know about him? What do you know about him? You don't know nothing about him, evidently. What do you call him? Have you called a million people and two million people came to your to your shit? And because of his rhetoric, I called him the greatest of all time because of what he's done in black communities. And I think that never be comfortable supporting someone who called oh, I'm bitch. not anti-Semite and this I'm anti-termite <laughs> so like that are promoting lesbianism homosexuality I actually spoke with the journalist from Tablet Magazine who released an investigation report on your organization and in part they allege that there is a lot of anti-Semitism surrounding this march specifically the report alleged that you Tamika and co-founder Carmen Perez asserted that quote Jewish people had a history of exploiting black people and were proven to be leaders of the American slave trade now a lot of people by a lot of people include me in this think that you're using your organization as anti-semitism mapped in activism and that you're using identity politics to shield you see that shit you see that shit she see how she try to maneuver you see how the devil is i can't stand them cave bitches man bitch you know they fake <laughs> doing people wrong overseas and claiming they're the people of god stop that jewish right ish Ish. Ish. It's not it. And then your dad is snitch. Matter of fact, bitch. Then he snitch. And then some uh, goddamn boats go under because he couldn't. He had. He didn't want to die. He didn't want to die. But he was supposed to die. He was a. He was a proud uh, patriot. But he squealed though. He squealed on pressure. Man, shut the fuck up with that bullshit, bitch. Now you are critiques. Mm. You're talking about all women being invited to that march on pro life. We were not invited. We were we were not allowed at that march right there. I'm a conservative woman. I also represent you're talking about women. You're talking about all women, including Jewish women as well, and conservative women. Well, no, well, first of all. Those allegations are not true. That is not how that meeting happened. And the Women's March... So the journalist I spoke to was lying? The, the people that the journalists spoke let, to... Let, let, me, let me just stop right there, man. That's just one little video on to me. That was last week on The View. And, 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 and now, uh-oh. I got another snippet. Uh, from rolling, rolling, rolling Martin show on, on on almost the same subject, and it's so damn sad that we have to express every inch and in detail of what our business and how we feel about shit. What business is it yours? But yeah, uh, I I got my man, I got my man rolling up here. I'm trying to get him situated. Hey, I ain't hooked up like y'all hooked up with all the videos and shit, the split screen and all that shit. Like this video, subscribe to me, man. Hey, I ain't got all that computerized shit yet. I ain't got it down pat. Y'all professional. I'm working with the phone and cameras right now, so just please be patient. We gonna go. All right, we gonna start right here. This now, this is a good panel about the situation. 
They can talk more eloquently. I got to say the mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> I try to change it. I will later on in my progression as I uh, develop. But uh, uh, they got a panel. Roller got a panel. And they discussing the same situation, man. But just check out how they treat our sister, man. I mean, God, dog. All right, folks. Uh, the unremitting criticism of the Women's March uh, leaders continues. Uh, this time, folks are now targeting Tamika Mallory because of what she said on the PBS show Firing Line. Uh, here's her talking to Margaret. The Palestinians are native to the land. You know, they were there um, for a very long time, and so they're native to the land. Do you feel that the Jewish people are native as well? I mean, I know I understand the history that, you know, that um, there are people who have a number of uh, sort of ideologies around why the Jewish people feel this should be their land. I'm not Jewish, so for me to speak to that is not fair. If you're willing to say that the Palestinians are native, but not the Jews are native, I mean, you're not I'm Palestinian speaking, either. I'm, because I'm speaking of the people who we know are being brutally oppressed in this moment. That's just the reality. Is it your view that Israel has a right to exist as a nation? I have said many times that I feel everyone has a right to exist. See, that same trickery shit. Has a right to exist at the uh, disposal of another group. In your view, does that include Israelis in Israel? I believe that all people have the right to exist, and that Palestinians are also suffering with a great crisis, and that there are other Jewish scholars who will sit here and say the same. I, I'm, I, I'm done talking about this. Okay. So you can move okay, I just don't think it requires scholarly knowledge to be able to say that Israel has a right to exist. I, it's, it, it, again, I believe everyone has the right to exist. So, so because Tamika did not say these words, Israel has a right to exist. And because she said repeatedly, everyone has a right to exist, now people, Joe Madison, are calling her anti-Semitic because she didn't specifically say the words Israel has a right to exist. We it's like it's like we gotta do exactly what people tell us to do and we ain't supposed to feel nothing. Oh, I'ma just run over your feet with my car. You should be okay. You can make it all. Oh, I can make it. Oh, I'll just take all your money out your bank account. You'll make it. You'll be okay. Oh, I'll just kidnap you from your land and just rob you of your name, your language, your culture, your God, your religion, turn you upside down, inside out. You'll be okay. That's, uh, that's They want us to have that fucking mentality. That day is over, buddy. You say everyone, and then and now they're trying to say, "Oh, this is an all lives matter thing." What what do you now make of this? Well, let us let us understand one thing. And anyone who's been to Israel, and I've I've been there, and I've discussed and talked and debated with, and I've also been to the East Bank. Tamika is absolutely right. There are individuals in Israel who are Jewish that believe that Palestinians have certain rights. They, they, there's an organization that I was familiar with and met with their mothers of, uh, of war victims. And they have an organization called Bridge. And they're trying to resolve some of these serious questions that uh, what was put to Tamika. So she was right. There are scholars, there are individuals, there are politicians who, in essence, uh, have taken the same position that she has taken. You don't hear it much in this country, but that is exactly what exists. And, that, and it's a big debate, even among Jewish people. So let's put that aside. Uh, Tamika was on my show today, and I asked her about this. And the reality is that this has nothing to do with the march that mm -hmm. the women have in fact Hold organized on. these are the women have issues and platforms that need to be addressed and to throw this 
into the middle to attempt to divide uh, the, the agenda that women are very concerned about as it relates to public policy is, is just absolutely, totally uh, unfair. And, and, and she did point out, look, find a march. So if there's one group over here that wants to march and they disagree with this group over here over, over a particular policy, then go ahead and march with that group. But this is a matter of remaining focused on women's issues. So, Ray, again, I, I, when I saw this uh, on social media as I was flying to Chicago, when we landed, I, I saw my Twitter feed. And so it, now the test now is you have to say the words, yes. Israel has a right to exist. Yet, how many people are asked the question, do Palestinians have a right to exist? I mean, see, that, that's, that to me is why this, and what people also, I think, don't understand is that there's a very long history of African Americans identifying with the, pe the Palestinian people uh, because, I mean, I, you can go back to Andrew Young when he was UN ambassador. He secretly met with, uh, met with them. Andrew Young said before he got back to his office, uh, the Israeli spy agency Mossad already had a transcript that was in the hands of officials in Washington, D.C. by the time he got back. Uh, he had to resign from office. When you think about 1984, Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr. bringing this issue to the fore in the presidential campaign. And, so, and because black people understand oppression. I'm right. Black people understand living in a place under oppression and it's as if people don't understand that black folks get this. Roland, you're absolutely correct, and I appreciate the history lesson you laid out there. Thank you. One thing that any sophisticated thinking citizen in the United States is going to have to do around this question, because it's beginning to bubble up in ways that means that we're going to have to have a serious conversation about this. And we cannot simply have blacks and Jews can get along. Look at examples of Reverend King and Rabbi Herschel. We're going to have to go beyond that and have a more sophisticated talk. And that talk has to be able to delineate and bifurcate Judaism as a relationship, Jewish human beings, and white supremacy functioning as a state in Israel. Does Israel as a nation, do the people there have a right to exist? Of course, because as Tamika and others said, every human being has a right to exist. Should white supremacy in the form of hiding behind a religion continue to promulgate throughout Israel? throughout the West Bank, throughout Gaza, and even throughout parts of the United States? No. And as you alluded to, Roland, black Americans particularly, and people of African descent throughout the world, understand what it's like to be the oppressed people, understand what it's like to be boxed out, and so we will side with those who are the oppressed, right? Where there are the oppressed, so shall we be. And we've seen this happen first with Dr. Mark Lamont Hill. We saw this happen with the Birmingham mm -hmm. Civil Rights Institute, yeah. and the reneging of Angela Davis' award. Yeah. And now we're seeing it happen with Tamika Mallory, and for too often, the, the folks who are making this claim are not doing so out of any sincerity of conviction of their religion as an ethnicity or a group of people, but instead they're using their religion, a noble and decent honor one, to shield their white supremacy. Now, and let me bring that up. I'm going to stop right there, man. It's your boy Musa. Like this video, share it. This is for our sister Tamika, man. She's holding it down, man, and I know she, man, she got the weight on the world on her shoulders, man, and she's a woman too. Whew. She's got to have God in her, control of her emotions, man, because I know I've been running crazy in that motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is your boy Musa, man. Like the video, subscribe. Hey, and help out your people. Support your people. Buy black. Peace out.